Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are diving into our biggest condo project in Canada, downtown Toronto. It built by Pemberton. Pemberton is re-owned as a one of the Canada's top builders. We are excited to see this project. Are you ready to join us for the PDI pre-delivery inspection? Let's go in. This is the lobby. You can see the mailboxes beside the lobby. An impressive design glass tables. This project is massive with nearly 1,600 units. Compacted, meaning 1,600 families will call this place home. Can you believe it? It's been in the works since February 2017. Back then, they are selling my unit for 543 square feet condo for 380k anticipating for the future market value now we are here let's walk through the unit with an inspector attending inspection give us a chance to spot any issues or deficiencies before closing you tell me what do you think after this inspection all right mm -hmm. uh, anything other than that just the handyman touch up. I'll use a red sticker. I'll include photos of everything. Um, include the number of touch ups per room as well in the report. Okay. So, the kitchen was good. Everything is good. Okay. So, nice cabinets. We have some silicone touch ups on the sides. Depth uh, on the floor at the bottom. He's commenting, kitchen is good, cabinet is nice. Yeah. Um, this is a secondary lid trap. Mm -hmm. But there is no washer and dryer. The closet. closet. Uh, there is no floor. closet sure door yet. Hide that, so we'll note that. Mm -hmm. um, security panel. Uh, I've already noted it's missing. Um, Thermostat and the security panel, you receive an email and operation of this thing. No okay. security panel or no thermostat yet. On this one plus 10, 545 square feet Correct. and 102 yeah, yeah. square feet balcony. Yeah, to be provided. Also, blinds are to be provided. Maybe, maybe, maybe somebody. Let's check the breaker panel real quick. This is a den. Works from home in the office. Mm -hmm. make, it, make a nice office, no? Yeah, it is. That's why they call them because no window. Yes, uh, correct. Yeah. And, and you need a closet and a window. Mm. And this is a laundry. Dryer and washer not installed yet. Passed by the washroom. Checking the ventilation, turn on a vent. No airflow. No ventilation, right? Let me see if this works now. Washroom has no lights yet, so we are inspecting with flashlight from cell phone. Don't be surprised, it is happening. No mirrors in the washroom. And that is going to be light? Full wall mirror, yeah. And a light. Okay, so this is just cabinet? Yep. The water shut off to the unit is inside the vanity over here, okay? Wait, wait, okay. Oh, the main, main pipe there? Yes. Okay, oh, behind it, that's the main. Okay, how did, it, did you take it out? Mm-hmm. Spring latch. Oh. Uh, you can leave that open to show the tenant. You want to show the tenant where the water shut off is for sure. There's nobody living on this floor, but... 
keep it running. There we go. Good. That's a bit excessive. Excessive silicone. Yeah. He's saying washing fan is not working yet. Our unit is tower B facing to the courtyard. Okay, I'm gonna start entering again. I'm gonna start entering all these items, including the bathroom. First pick. Okay. Once again, builder is Pemberton, top builder of Canada. On PDI, usually we check structural elements like a wall, floor, ceiling, and windows, a visible damage or a defect. We need to inspect mechanical system like heating, ventilation, air conditioning, but not today. It's not ready yet. So we usually inspect the functionality of the appliances such as a stove, refrigerator or dishwasher or laundry machine is not installed yet. Here is 102 okay. square feet balcony. That's the Lake Ontario we can see and then Toronto Island we can pick. Once again this is a 102 square feet balcony. That's highway QW that's a go train to Union Station. The steps from here. During the summer season, we ride the ferry to the island. There's beautiful beaches and parks. It's winter in February here, so we can see some ice. So all walking distance to the beach, to the CN Tower, to the St. Lawrence Market. That's Tower C and Tower D. They already moved in. We are looking down on 11th floor rooftop garden and swimming pool. The thing about this having a 12th floor, there is no neighborhood down below. There's all common area, 11th floor. So they will not have any complaints from the down below that you're making noises while they are sleeping. School buses passing by family-oriented neighborhood. Considering downtown core, compact area, they still have the parks in front of building to have fresh air. The whole block is one building, which is 1,600 homes. But kicker, the builder seems to be rushing the completion. In fact, there are no appliances, no light fixture, working ventilation yet. So occupancy closing in 10 days. They said they will able to provide this in 10 days. Let's see these days the builders, how big they are or how reputable they are, all are rushing to close without completing essential aspect of the project. Because time is money, you know? One of the top Builders in Canada, reputation out the window. Now the cost and time pass to the end users. Inspector mentioned that they're independent third party. What do you think? On the elevator, we coming up to here. He's warning me there is no appliance in the unit. He said that the builder will provide blinds for the windows and balcony doors right there. Let's hear it, his report. That's master bedroom window frame. Mm -hmm. um, paint touch ups, master bedroom. Uh, fan and vent is not working in the bathroom. Uh, curtain rod is not installed with the tub shower. Uh, silicone missing at the bottom and sides of tub tile areas. Uh, paint touch ups times three in main bathroom. Paint touch ups laundry room. Uh, frame is scratched living room. Uh, paint touch ups, the mm. kitchen. Yeah. A gap in flooring. Uh, yeah. 
back flooring gable left of sink area. Security panel is missing. Outlet cover plate is missing. Uh, paint touch outs in the foyer entry. Uh, owner concern, there's no hot water. Uh, balcony door handle is hard to lock latch. Door will also not open fully. Needs adjustment. I had to mention that the defect on balcony access sliding door. He said it's a scratch, but um, it is completely dented. It is not able to, yep. Mm -hmm. So he took a picture and add on to it as a dented dysfunction balcony Good. door. It is not able to close. Yeah, not open. 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 Right. Yeah, no ventilation working. Definitely in there? Yes. He said yes and double checked. No filter. No filter? No filter. He took a picture and added it as well. A small flooring defect. We have to add it on to it as well. Can you say panel or? Yeah, Okay. Is that picture? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, attending the inspection give us a chance to spot any issues or deficiencies before the closing. Okay, so Fanco filter is missing, vanity light fixtures are missing, uh, vanity mirrors missing, closet slider doors missing, washer dryer missing, fridge, I, I'll give you a printout with this. Uh, blinds are missing, uh, paint touch up, uh, I'm in the closet again. Did you put that on there? Yeah. For you, for units. Well, yes, it is. There is only one fan coil working for the whole unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And this is open. <coughs> Unit number with the paper. When you're coming in, there is a right hand side. The den with the door. Left side is closet and laundry room. Let's crunching numbers. distance from CN Tower so what do you think are you looking at a well executed project or are there too many corners being cut we are investing in a place we will call home in a downtown core Toronto Canada that's the incarnation realty group investment field if you are interested in condo living rules drop a comment below and we will make sure to cover that in the future video it can be your home as of february 13th shoulders among downtown toronto skyscrapers that's it for PDI journey for today. Thanks for watching. See you next video.